All right, so there's the culprit. Can you see the fault? Physical problem I found with trying to calibrate the input power protection of the amplifier, I came up with this. Um, I was poking around uh, with the with one of the um, RF kit reps. We were able to try to shoot it down. What I found was this, and I don't know if we'll be able to see it on screen. See that little ch that little pin right there? see it moving I can't zoom in far enough to see if it moves but that's moving that that pin pin 7 is not soldered so that pin is the output of that chip that triggers the uh, input power overload protection overdrive protection so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maybe I'll try to d well I'm just gonna hit it with solder instead of monkeying around with it I'm just gonna hit it up hit everything I can see with a little just a little dab of solder a little bit of heat and so, uh, yep, and we see have that takes. We are able to calibrate input protection. As you can see, input power too high, please press reset. So, why don't we go ahead and do that? So, the transceiver, I got a TS2000 here set set to 35 watts. I'm going to back that down on the 30. You should be able to see it right here 30 watts. I'm just going to hit the standby. We're back and operate now. I'm going to go ahead and transmit here. So you can see it's transmitting. Now as soon as I bump this up to 35, it kicks out right away. I mean it's quick too. So, the protection's now working. So, a cold solder joint and, uh, and a blown output chip. And we got the... Uh, got the input protection calibrated so that's the scoop I'm happy it's fixed uh, well I'm happy we've got the root of that problem now I gotta get some um, gotta get some chips in so I'm gonna run down right now I'm gonna run down the calibration and shut it off and wait to figure out where All I'm right, gonna get the WK's back on the bench here you can see I'm sending a ready signal about 5 watts drive gives us that There's 10, and there's 15, now let's go to 20, there's 20, nice. The K1ZEW1UJ, uh, I'm doing alright Ed, uh, hold on, hold on one second. All right, here we go. All right, yeah, just trying out one of the new uh, one of the new amplifiers now. So, uh, uh, seeing how it works, making sure that uh, things things are things are in check with Kim's amplifier. It seems to be working okay. Um, and uh, this is the first QSO with it. I just got it tuned in tonight. Got it uh, aligned, and it seems to be seems to be performing pretty good. I can't hear a lot of the guys tonight. I'm sure there are a lot of antennas down. I know. And I was just talking, uh, uh, texting back and forth with Paul, and I couldn't hear him up at all up here tonight. And uh, yeah, big contest this weekend. Uh, I'm probably uh, I usually do the multi op out in uh, East Heartland uh, at W1TJL as N1MM, but uh, I don't know if I uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make it out there again this weekend. Uh, so I might do a little effort, a little high powered effort tonight uh, this weekend from uh, from the house. Uh, but nothing, nothing too serious. Uh, I got a DMR radio. I got that kind of worked out. I'm trying to trying to figure out how that works. And um, Ed, I'm probably gonna uh, going to check out after this. I'm going to hop on and do the uh, CW sprints at 9:30. So I probably uh, with the big group. Good evening to everybody. Real, real nice to hear the the big group. Um, but uh, I probably won't be uh, around for the next uh, round table. Um, okay, thanks for holding that tonight, Ed, and uh, good to hear everybody as usual. K1ZE, W1UJ.